Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 198. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 185 to 202. Hey, in this video 198, I'm excited because I'm going to do three different formulas, and I want you guys to tell me which one you like best or which one you use when you do uh, this sort of calculation. We're actually going to count. We have a bunch of values here. And we have categories, 5 up to 15, 15 up to 25. This is a frequency distribution. And I'm going to show you three different formulas. And I want you to, in the comment area, tell me which one you like best. All right. Uh, the first thing is, since we're going to do a lot of uh, some formulas over here and always use this range, I'm going to name it. So I'm going to click in the top cell here and hold Control Shift Down Arrow. And then I'm going to use the name box up here. And I'm going to type Oil Change Minute, OCM, and then Enter. That way I have a nice short name I can use. Now, let's come over here. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to um, delete all these formulas. We're going to do a sum product, a count if, and then a sum and if. And then you're going to tell me which one you like best. All right, we'll start off with um, sum products. Remember, we have um, a lower and an upper uh, limit for each one of these classes here. And then I made some labels. If you want, you can come and see how I did the little formulas here. These are also based on an assumption table. When you download this, you can see this. All right, let's do our sum products. We're counting between an upper and a lower limit equals sum product. And in our first parentheses, we're going to say uh, oil change, which is, I uh, can't remember what it is now. So I hit F3, which is paste name. Oh, OCM. So I got to remember that because that's easy to type. OCM has to be greater than or equal to 5, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, OC, I'm such a bad typer, OCM has to be less than 15. Now, here's the way all of these formulas are going to work is, I'm going to close parentheses, close parentheses. It's 5 is included, but 15 is not included, right? So this is a very common way to do uh, frequency distributions. By the way, the reason why I'm not doing the frequency function, because frequency function uses the upper limit uh, and not the lower limit. Unless it's the lower class, then it's everything less. And I have a video on frequency function. It's a cool function, but it doesn't fit our exact purpose here. All right, so that one will work. These are arrays of trues and falses. If I were to highlight all these and hit the F9, which is evaluate, so you see it's a bunch of trues and falses. Control Z. Same with here, trues and falses. I'll F9. See, it's trues and falses. Control Z. Anyway, it'll multiply true times true, and it'll get one. A false here or a false here, it'll get zero, and the sum product will add them all up. I'm just going to hit Control Enter because it's you know it's an array formula, but you don't have to use that Control Shift Enter, and I'm going to drag it down. Okay, so that's formula number one, sum products. So if you like that one, let me know. Here's the one I usually teach when I teach statistics. Uh, we're going to use two count ifs equals count if, count if the range is OCM comma, and the criteria for the first one is, in quotes, less than, end quote, ampersand 15. right? So we're going to count all of the ones uh, less than the upper limit. It has to be less than because that upper limit's not included. Close parentheses. Um, you can see when we get up to here that this first part will say all the ones less than 45, which will include all of them for all the previous categories. All we need to do is then subtract less than the lower limit. And so for this category here, it would be all the ones less than 45 minus all the ones less than 35. And it will give you exactly the ones in between. So minus count if OCM comma, and then less than. Notice we say less than. We get two less thans because for this example here, right, if we're saying 45 less than, we don't want the 45. But if we say subtract less than 35, the 35 will be included in the count. So I have to put in quotes, less than in qu end quote, ampersand, and then click on, you know, I can't get to that. Here's a trick. I'm going to click in the one above and then hit the down arrow since I know it's right there. Close parentheses. All right, I'll control enter and then double, uh, I can't double click because then it will replace that. Watch this. Zoop. Oh, no, it didn't. It stopped. Well, you learn something new every day. The final one is um, an array formula, and it's using sum and if. So we'll say equals sum, 
if if and then we need our OCM if OCM is greater than or equal to our lower value that one right there then if OCM again OCM is less than our upper value so I'm going to click in the up and down arrow then so we have two ifs then what do we want if it's a true here and a true here just as we saw that same logic with the sum prime true true means it'll be true we want a one otherwise if it's false we want a zero close parentheses oh it's a purple one so it means I need one more I got the green so I'm closing off the if but I still need to close off the sum and then this needs a control shift and enter and I'm going to click and drag in. All right, so there's three different formulas. I want you to vote and uh, just tell me which one you either use when you do frequency distributions or uh, which one of these uh, ones you like. You can even uh, post ones that, because uh, there's lots of other possibilities. Most I'm interested in one, two, three. What do you think? Which one do you like? All right, see you next trip.